All right, David Kahn here. We've got another question from the question bank in topic 11.2. We're looking at uh, power generation in AC circuits. We have a graph which shows the variation with time of the electromotive force uh, that a generator generates. Uh, and we see the EMF rise and fall in time. So this is an AC generator. We want to calculate the RMS value of the EMF of the generator. Uh, we've been talking a lot about RMS, uh, so let's see if we can work out what it actually is. Uh, stands for root mean square, and it's meant to be some indication of the average. But when you look at the EMF, it varies equally between peak and trough. So if you took a straight average, you would get zero. And you would get zero no matter how strong the EMF or how frequent or whatever. It's always going to average to zero. So that's a straight average is not helpful. So instead, what the RMS value is a measure of is an average of the magnitude of the EMF. So we take all these negative cycles and flip them and then take the average of what remains. Uh, it looks like the peak is at 1400. So you might think at the beginning that the average would be 700, but it's not. Uh, the graph spends quite a bit more time higher than 700 than it does lower than 700. So the peak is, is a fair ways higher than the middle between peak and equilibrium. Uh, mathematically, it winds up being a factor of the square root of 2. So this height is uh, the peak on the square root of 2. 1400 on the square root of 2. So the RMS voltage is the peak voltage divided by the square root of 2. That's 1400 divided by the square root of 2, which is about 990 volts. Uh, the speed of rotation of the generator is now halved, with no other changes being made. Uh, we're going to, on the graph, sketch the resulting EMF, but before we do that, let me move on to part three, because they're kind of related. It asks us to explain why we drew what we drew. So maybe let's reason out what we should draw first and then draw it. Uh, what is going to change if we have the rate of rotation of the uh, generator? Uh, well, one thing that's going to change is the peak EMF. Uh, the slower the electrons in the generator are moving, the uh, less current we get, the less current we get, uh, the less EMF we generate. So because the uh, generator is rotating more slowly, the uh, peak EMF will reduce. Uh, at the same time though, and this is the tricky one, this is the one that students always forget, because it's rotating more slowly, uh, it's going to take twice as long for a full rotation to take place. Uh, so the period of the EMF will be double. So not only does the peak drop by half, the period doubles. Just because it takes longer for the generator to get all the way around into a, a full period of motion. So cleaning this up, let's draw our sketch on top. So previously the period uh, was this long it's now going to be this long. Uh, the peak, which was 1400, is now going to be 700. So that's our new maximum. The negative peak, the trough, which was negative 1400, is now going to be negative 700. So we're going to oscillate between these two extremes. There's one period. There's the middle peak comes first right above that axis intercept, trough comes next right below that axis intercept, peak comes next after that axis intercept, and then another intercept. So the wave will look, 
Let's try that again. The wave will look like you're not drawing great right now. Try again. Like this. <laughs> 